The project is across North Wales um, and it's responding to um, citizen group learning disabilities. We have a weekly coffee morning at the minute which um, includes um, people with learning disability. Um, there's a gentleman there who's had a stroke. Um, there's a lady there who feels isolated because she's actually Italian speaking. Um, and they also work with the school group that's been opposite previously. So an example of that now is every Tuesday morning brew it on a zoom call what we find is in our in people with disabilities uh, they haven't got the equipment to to become uh, to get online and um, to use digital equipment um, and we've had a good response really with regards to donations and um, of equipment so it's also an opportunity we find that um, people are embracing the technology embracing what the message regarding technology and what it can do. One of the parents said to me on a call, our world has become very small very, very quickly overnight. And for a mum who's who's living at home with a 23-year-old son with learning disability, um, that that's really a significant statement for her. What's really, really important for her son is actually the routine. So because her son's expecting Tuesday morning, I'm at Brewit, actually we can still provide that tuesday morning is still brew it granted it's in a different way because it's on screen but that's so so important to them because health and social care services now have to focus all their attention on uh covid19 that's the kind of challenge we're facing to say well in the meantime what what can we do um but i think what it has flagged up is um that whole community element of the project has become um a really really our priority at the moment.